Oh yeah, this is much better. Much better, much more of what I was looking for instead of that big like barrel roll call. Reminds me of the Cowardly Lion from Wizard of Oz. If I were king of the forest. Oof. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and this is my stained glass journey. Welcome. If you are new, I am a mom, a wife, a teacher, just trying to keep it all together. Faith formation assistant too. Just trying to keep the life together, trying to remain productive in these COVID times. And I am really glad that you are here. I hope that you hit that subscribe button and stay a while. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. It is actually Sunday. It is winter break week dose. So week two, and I am not going to Walmart because I didn't go yesterday and it's gonna be crazy today and I am just not all about that. So I'm going to hit a grocery store that is a little bit closer to my house, get some of the lunch essentials for the week, get a few things for dinner. I might check out the buy five for 20 meats to see what I can find and maybe only spend like $20 on meat for this week. That would be quite a challenge to undertake. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to do some lunch and week grocery shopping. I have been rolling with the idea of three goals. I'll be honest, I last week I really didn't meet all of them, but I'm hoping that as I get further out from COVID that it just gets better and better. So my three goals for today, which I'm going to strive for, home goal, clean up the Christmas stuff and get it organized. A life goal, life goal. Ugh. Grocery shopping, getting ready for the week, having groceries on hand. I mean, that's kind of like a house goal, but it's also a life goal because you got to eat to have life, like you need food. So um, I think my life goal today is, is to get grocery shopping done. And, oh, life goal. Uh, uh, I got I got a present. I got a new bag for for school. So I went to stock it. I went to stock my bag with uh, stuff for school and I'll take you along with me later to do that. And then my school goal, I have graded on my 8th. I'm caught up on my 7th grades and now I need to get my two 6th grades caught up on. So that is my goal for today for school, do all of the 6th grade grading so that my students grades are up to date. And those are my three goals in this first day of the second week of winter break. I'm gonna go do some shopping and I'll check in with you guys later at Target. I got a teacher bag for Christmas. I'm so excited, but here's the thing. All of the stuff that was in my teacher bag before I had to throw away because like, uh, it probably had stuff on it. Ooh. You might be wondering how I'm going to do that. Oh yes, my parents came through. Target gift card for Christmas. So I am going to go restock my teacher bag with stuff from Target. I am also going to buy a couple beauty things because you all know how much I have anxiety about makeup. If you haven't seen my video before, I'll link it in the card. I have anxiety when it comes to makeup, but I am understanding that to give the impression of looking being put together and looking put together and being professional i have to at least have some kind of daily face that i use when i am out in public around people so a little bit of teacher a little bit of makeup target montage right now Happy Tuesday. I did not make a video yesterday at all because 
I just needed a day to focus to get Christmas cleaning done. I finally got the living room clean, the dining room square away. But I just wanted to show you what I got for Christmas. I got a new teacher bag. Uh, you have, if you have seen, been around for a while, you know that I am on a cart. So I travel from class to class. I teach middle school science. So sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Two classes of sixth, two classes of seventh, one class of eighth. So I'm always traveling, and this bag is just going to be fantastic. I, I'm, I'm not really sure if I'm going to carry it around with me yet throughout the day or if I'm just going to kind of leave it in my classroom. I haven't decided, but I want to show you. I'm being very intentional with the things that I put in this bag. So let me show you the things that I bought. Okay, so first things first, a set of markers for my bag. Sometimes I like to grade in markers. I love me some school supplies so you know that I have to have colorful pens. I love that I have an assortment of colors for things that I have to write down and also that I have a normal color as well. So I bought those, Paper Make Me Ink Joy. I am always using sticky notes for one thing or another, so I bought this little pack of 400, it has four pads from Target. I don't really use white out, but I always like to have it on me because there's been times where someone has asked me if I have white out and I'm like, ugh. I am always asking my students to highlight, so I like to have a highlighter on me just if there's something that as I'm going through or working or grading or something that I need to remember like maybe during a faculty meeting that I can highlight it before I forget. Tape. You can never have enough tape. Now some of this is for my desk but I will also probably carry around a roll of it because you just never know. Every teacher knows the joy of a good flare pen. Now some of what I, some of what's in here is actually makeup and we're going to play with that on a whole different day because it is my goal to kind of look put more put together thus the, thus the attempts at like curling the hair slightly or like beach waves or whatever they're called. I also bought some binder clips, oh, there you go. Okay there's 12 of them in this pack. Some binder clips, I am always using binder clips. You teaching so many different classes, I struggle sometimes to keep things organized, and so I always like to keep paper, uh, paper clips, binder clips on me so that I have them so that I can kind of, as I, as I collect papers, which sometimes I do for my in-person learners, I can just kind of clip them at the top. Also with papers, I am the worst. I admit I'm the worst, and I, there's people that know me know that I, I am the worst with paper. I love it, I collect it, I hold on to it forever. I love it forever, it is my squishy, and I will call it squishy. I love paper. Sometimes I collect papers and they get lost or they end up somewhere else. I put them in my bag, they get all crinkled. So I found these, and it's actually a two-pack. I don't know what I'll use these smaller envelopes for yet, but maybe the office folder, I don't know. But I also, I found this and it's a two pack. So you get the smaller one and then you get the bigger one. The bigger one, I am actually, and these are from the dollar store. Sorry, I should have told you that. We switched over to the dollar store now. I bought these to be able to write the class name at the top. So whenever I'm putting these folders into my, into my book bag, I can just see like, okay, I need the eighth grade science folder. I can just grab it open it up, put the papers in, so that way they don't get wrinkled or crumpled or anything. So, 8th grade, my 1st, 7th grade, 2nd, 7th grade, 1 6th grade, and my 2nd, 6th grade. Um, I travel, so I don't always have necessarily a space. I feel super bad about being in my classroom when other teachers are teaching. I know that it's my classroom, but I don't want to disrupt my students. I often just work in places where I can find it and I do lunch duty a lot too. I bought this clipboard. If there is something that I want to work on and maybe grading or what have you, I can just put this clipboard, I can put the papers on the clipboard, I can do the grading and be done. I just bought these again from the dollar store. Uh, they're cute. I like the, the like tealish color. I bought two of them so I guess one will be for like papers and pens. Papers. Pens, flare pens, colorful pens, markers, all that stuff, like the writing utensils. And then I'm not quite sure yet, but this one, maybe some supplies, maybe like randoms, like band-aids. I'm always around everywhere in the school, like, so I might use that second one for that. I found this little organizer and I figured that that would be perfect. And it snaps open. 
so that way I can put like the binder clips, paper clips, like things that I need. I wish that one of these was big enough to some kind of pens or something. I can just put all of the extra little stuff in this container and just open it up and use it as I need it. Sharpie, because I don't like to use them, but I like to have them on me. Maybe I will do that second bag of like the random stuff like scissors and tape and oh gosh, I don't know, maybe like a ruler. I was like having a ruler on me because I expect my students to do a lot of measuring, so I feel like I should have a ruler on me. A uh, smaller pack of binder clips because I like to have them in multiple sizes. And also because I like multiple sizes, sometimes you just need a big jumbo one and then sometimes you need like a tiny normal sized one. I got two packs of paper clips again from the dollar store. I can get be just as happy with paper clips from the dollar store as I can paper clips from Target. I mean, they might not be as colorful, they might not have pastel -y colors, but hey, that's okay. All right, and last but not least, I got some hand sanitizers, one for my bag, and then probably one for my, for my car because I go through hand sanitizer like crazy. All of that stuff is the things that I am putting into my teacher bag. I hope that you guys like that little bit of an overview. Happy New Year's Eve. It's about time. I am enjoying my break, but you know one of the things that I want to do is to get back into the swing of things, and one of the things is really putting some time and attention into my makeup. So I bought some things. I am actually going to start with the Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer. I have no idea how this stuff is going to go. I just bought everything and I figured we'll try it out so some primer I know kind of helps set up the face to keep the makeup on all day so like when I'm teaching so it gets all on there and yes I use my fingers for a lot of this so anyone that that bothers I'm really sorry I am trying to do as quick of a face as I possibly can now I funny story when I was in middle school and high school I was the most awkward type of just I didn't have a whole lot of self-esteem I was not confident in who I was I did not like the way I looked I was I was a hot mess <laughs> to to say lightly and my parents put me in modeling classes to I guess try to get um to help me get some self-esteem but let's put some let's put a girl with some self-esteem issues in modeling class because that's going to go really well. I actually took modeling classes when I was in middle school to learn how to do my makeup but I never really I, I didn't feel comfortable I I was already super insecure and being in the room with all those girls made me feel even more insecure. I am just going to go through and set my brows with this clear brow and lash mascara so I'm only going to use the brow end of this where is it there it is okay I'm going to use the brow end and I do know to start with the ends because that's where the majority of the you don't want a lot of the product to be like goopy so I really don't do much with my brows I don't color them um I, I just kind of like to keep things exactly the way that they are with me I'm sure that there is a color that could match my brows, but everything I, that I have honestly tried um, makes me look really, 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 really ridiculous. Yeah, so my parents put me in modeling classes when I was in middle school. I really, really didn't like it. I will actually insert a picture of myself a little older than high school, even like in... in or, or even a little older than middle school, like in high school, like right here. Clearly was not super confident with myself, so I have the primer on, and now I am just going to go through with my powder, and I am using CoverGirl Clean Matte. I have oily skin, so using a matte is important, and if I can get the thing open, there we go. Alright, and I am just going to kind of lightly, just kind of lightly go all over my face. And again, this is CoverGirl Clean Matte in the shade, I don't know. Oh, medium to light. 
Okay, now that that's done, let's go on to blush. I have Wet n Wild in the color Nudist Society. That's, that's nice. And yes, I'm just going to use my fingers for this because quick and easy and I forgot my brush. It's hard to tell in a camera. <laughs> okay, so we got some color on the cheeks, replacing the color that we just took off. I am not going to mess with any kind of bronzer or anything because I want this to just be quick. Alright, so I am a neutral type of girl, so I like this NYX Ultimate Edit. Oh, hi, Belle. <laughs> Belle. Hi, Belle. Alright, so I'm going to use this NYX Ultimate Edit, and I like to go for the neutral tones, so I probably will end up going for something um, like a mix of the two, this one and this one. And again, with my fingers. Honestly, if I like this and this ends up working out, I will probably end up investing in brushes eventually. But for now, it'll do. Okay, just very simple. Let's go in with the mascara. So this is Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline. It's the very black yeah very black oh but first i have to curl my lashes so funny story in high school i remember being in a class and the girl curling her eyelashes and i just remember being so incredibly um fascinated by what she was doing because i had taken that modeling class but I had never they I they had never talked about that and I just like she would sit there the whole entire time and do her lashes and like curl her lashes and I was just like intrigued like what is it that you are doing mm, I, I guess I was kind of interested in makeup but I had no idea where to start I really didn't have an older sibling I was the oldest and the modeling classes came at a time for me where I think they ultimately backfired because I really didn't I, I didn't know what to do so all right um, last thing that I'm going to do and I actually have a couple different of these but this is the who makes this Rimmel stay glossy and I like that it's almost like a purpley color it's in the color tainted love Get the bow my lips. Mm, I'm not really sure if I like this or not. See, that's my that's the thing. I tend to get really like self conscious. Like when I, I almost feel like it's too shiny, like it's too glossy. I get really self conscious like when I see different colors on my face or like different colors on my lips because I just I I feel like. I look like a clown like I just I know that I don't I know that there's barely anything um, makeup vloggers would be like you got nothing on your face girl but for me it feels so incredibly different um, I'm gonna have to wear that around for a little bit this gloss and see if I like it I mean it's 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 just a little bit too shiny for me but we'll we'll see how it grows on me and last but not least is the wet n wild photo finish Photo Focus, sorry, Natural Finish Setting Spray, and this is where all the humor comes in because I always like watching these reactions, so here we go. Quick face that I'm going to try for school. What do you guys think? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video and for supporting me and my YouTube channel. I will be sure to check in with you guys next week when we go back to school. I'm actually going to take the weekend and enjoy the rest of my break with my family putz around the house a little bit for the next few days and just kind of spend some time enjoying my break. I hope that you guys have a happy new year and I will see you guys next week. Bye.